and welcome to PM Models, your weekly roundup of what's new and going on in the PM world. How are we doing today, gentlemen? Are we all well, fit, healthy? Fine, thank you very much. Perfectly well, healthy. Fit I was going to say, fiddle. I wouldn't say fit, <laughs> we're all here. That just is about as far as it goes. We've made it. <laughs> so anyway, Matt, how are you feeling? Because obviously you had last week off, having a bit of a, a procedure. All right. I'm, I'm all right, thank you. Yeah, I'm all good. Explain good. to us in graphic details what you had done. Yeah. Uh, no. No, not not on this show. <laughs> so you get some tools. <laughs> yeah, I'll show you. Yeah, let me get my tools out and I'll show you. But no, it's, uh, no, all went, well, so far, as far as I know, it's uh, it's all gone okay. So, yeah. Good. Good job. Nice. At least it all, as you say. It's back <laughs> to it and all the rest of it. Take your mind off. And Andy, you all right? Feeling good? Yeah, 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 yeah. Still powering up them stairs? Well, yeah, I am. Actually. They've been doing it twice today. They've been up, up, upstairs. That's it. There you go. You see, It'll be fine. In, just getting ready for yours, where it's like that. Well, yeah, I do have probably the <laughs> steepest stairs of anyone I know. <laughs> <laughs> you need a sort of block and tackle to come down and rappel down my yeah. stairs. Be off the tray go for some climbing gear. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah, get your crampons on. <laughs> 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 but yes, I don't know quite why they're that steep. But anyway, never mind. Anyway, we're doing all good. Uh, as I say, um, obviously Matt was off last week, uh, so he was catching up with the orders beginning of the week. And are we up to date now-ish? Pretty much. Yeah, now? pretty much. Yeah, we've got pretty. I've, I've caught up pretty much from all last week's orders. They went out on Monday, so probably getting them today. Mm -hmm. uh, no, probably tomorrow. It's Tuesday today, and I've got my day ahead yeah. of myself. Um, yeah, we're recording this a day earlier than normal. Aren't yes. We? Yeah, we're doing this in the afternoon. In, in it feels, here it feels in the, weird here in the, in the afternoon. No, it's probably threw me that, yeah. Yeah. Um, so you'll probably get all them. Yesterday. Well, I'd say tomorrow, but it'll be today when this goes out, won't it? Yes. So they, yeah. they'll get it yesterday so in theory. Anyway, you'll get them on Wednesday. And then <laughs> when I'm. Um, and then Wednesday, all the stuff when you watch this will have gone out for your pre orders because we've had a load of pre orders come in when, uh, before I obviously had some time off and mm -hmm. it. A lot came in yesterday, so like the black jacks and the infinity models, vampires that you can see on the screen. Yeah. Um, also the I IBG twenty nines. He said, looking at the screen now because I can't yeah, remember. <laughs> and then we've got some the wildcat and red tails is doing tomorrow as well from Edward, which is nice. So things are moving at last. Absolutely. Yeah. No. So yeah. Good to see. And obviously the Blackjack is just a rebox in um, obviously new decal sheet with that one, but it's quite nice. We've seen a couple of the German versions, but not mm. obviously the uh, the British ones. Mm. Uh, and that's obviously one of our uh, demonstration aircraft that's been doing the show circuit, looking very nice doing that one. Uh, so that's in, so as I say there, and the Infinity models, uh, it looks absolutely lovely, that Vampire in 30 second scale. Yeah, it's a good scale, isn't it, as well, for a vampire. Isn't for it? a vampire, massive yeah, because it's, it's, it's a, a, a small thing, thing in 70 second. It's literally yeah, like that. Like, yeah, so, that one I built was lit, really small, even in 48 and stuff. So 30 seconds is actually not a bad, you know, it's definitely cutting it. that size anyway. Yeah, So yeah. I'll probably bring one down, actually, I think. I'll have a look what we've got and what I can fit in with mm -hmm. everybody else. And now the, the clan expanded with the, the with the dog. Yes. And I'll see if we can bring anything for review. Mm. Worth looking at into that wildcat's probably worth a good look at. I think the mm. Ed Ord one because that's mm. brand new tool, isn't it? And yeah, it should be nice, obviously, being Ed Ord, So, very nice indeed. Yes. And the other one, obviously, being the IBG uh MIG. Uh, so obviously, this is still I say I hate to say it because it sounds awful, but cashing in. <laughs> I will still. Did I just say it? Sorry, anyway. So, <laughs> this is the Ukrainian uh Ghost of Kiev uh type uh MIG uh 70 second scale with the Ukrainian digital pixel uh, camo scheme as well. It looks very nice as well. So uh, as but, you say, that that one's in. So that's two of them dropped now. Just waiting for yeah, the... Yeah, but that, that's actually a really good kit, the base that's... kit, because it's the trumpeter kit. Yes. Which is actually a really, really nice kit, where I think, obviously, the, the ICM one was their own kit, which is old and a bit... Old, old stuff, It's not, yeah. it's not great, is it? Mm -hmm. um, so, if, you know, that that is a lot better kit to build. The next two yes. are the 48 ones, aren't they? The... Um... Mid twenty nine and the SU twenty seven. Twenty seven, which is the yes. hobbies ones, isn't it? So mm. yeah, be nice for that one to come through. But yeah, it's really nice to see those coming through. So again, if you've got any pre orders for those guys, they have gone. So hopefully you all paid your bills. Has everyone paid, Andy? Uh, yeah, just a couple, two outstanding, but yeah, 
couple of stragglers at the end, but I think everybody's been really on, on point, as they yeah. say, and, and coughed up. So I really yeah, needs to get my finger out and get them out to them now they've, uh, yeah. now they've mm. paid. But yeah, I've just obviously just done catch up Monday with orders and then, like I say, tomorrow, hence why we're doing it today. So I've got all tomorrow morning to get through all the pre orders and get them boxed and they'll be gone to you. So you'll have them for Friday, as I said. Nice. A very, couple very of days good. if the post office is working. <laughs> yeah, well, it needs to be going all right at the moment. Uh, so, yes. Uh, so, again, all of those ones coming out, really interesting to see. So, yeah, if Matt can bring us one of them down, we'll definitely get a review of one of those done. Because I must admit, um, it would be nice to see what it's like. Because, mm. uh, yes, the old Infinity models, that's... Do we know if that was originally a resin one or has that always been plastic? I don't think they ever did that as a, re as a no, resin one. I, uh, I don't think that was a resin one. I think that could be there. To be honest with you, there's quite a few rumours about what Infinity are bringing out, and it's some mm. really interesting stuff. So if they do carry on, yes. I know they're on about bringing the, um, is it an Archie Val, is it, I think? Hmm. I think that's uh, two Japanese. Yeah, a couple of Jap But there, there's some other rumours as well of some other nice stuff that they potentially yeah. they could bring out. So uh, probably a company to keep an eye on, I reckon. Mm. You know, they could be... Could be on the up with again interesting subjects. Yes, definitely. So, so yeah, some nice stuff coming down there, uh, and obviously the other bits is pretty much sound as we said. We've got those um, uh, the Hobby Two Thousand Hurricanes. We've got the Saber yeah. Dogs, really nice. As I say, we've got a few of the Razor Crests in there, and all the other bits down in here. So yes, very, very nice it's, indeed. Bits and bobs. All the Wessex stuff. has gone. Has it? We sold our Wessex. Mm. Yeah, apparently Guess so. Them. Get some more of them, I reckon. And we're six, uh, yeah. quite a good, uh, quite a good seller while it's available. Yeah. Definitely, yes. We'll get uh, some of those ones in, and obviously we've got do 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 moving along the special offer section. Obviously, this got refreshed on Friday. Wasn't Friday, it? yeah. So to bring everyone up to speed on that one, and again we sold out already of a few bits and pieces, but uh, as you can see, we've got some nice stuff down in there as well. So like the Sabre, the Magister is a lovely kit, as we know. We've got that 30-second uh, G6, very nice. Uh, the Devastator, uh, the SU-35, the B-17, I can vouch for. Beautiful kit. Mm. Uh, and a few of the other ones as well. Prowler, nice, nice, nice. So, yes. And I see mm. we, we're getting a new version of the F-16 out of Kinetic as well. We are. Yeah, I forgot about that. When, is that due this year, is it? Yeah. Mm, apparently, yeah, I saw the thing on a bit last week uh, after we'd done the show. Actually, I, it popped up on my feed saying that obviously it's a new gold version with the F sixteen. Uh, so that'd be quite nice as well to see what that one's like. Did you uh, did you talk about the C seventeen last week? Yes, we did. Did we? Did you? I think so. Yeah, I think we we mentioned it. Obviously, connecting. Yeah, I did because I put a photo. Yeah, we did. Yeah, edited we did. It in. I edited a photo in afterwards. Uh, yes. But yeah, it was. Um, yes, that's going to be a lump. I think was how we described it, wasn't it? With yeah. the the glut of big kits coming down the line at the moment. Hope you've got lots of room for one of them. Did we I was work gonna out? Say, how, how big, big is that going to be? That's going to be absolutely Huge. massive, isn't it? I, I did look did look and see how big and much bigger it was than a. Um... Yeah, um, uh, A400, wouldn't it? We were comparing it to. It, yeah. And it's a lot it's bigger a than A400. Yeah. <laughs> so, yes. Yeah. And well, we know how big that is from Nathan's. So. I was going to say, Nathan's A400 is big, mm. you know. So, if that's going to be even. Oh, dear. Yeah. yeah. No, I, I, I mean, it's been mentioned for quite a while, hasn't it, that they were going to do it. Mm. Um, I'm just I'm just thinking with the current climate, if it, you know. How well is it going to get down? Because like yeah. we, you know, big kits as we as we know are not the biggest sellers. You, you really no. got to. I think you've really got to be into it as well. It's not mm -hmm. just a. I, I think know, I think it's going to be one know. of those that there'll be a fair few people will buy it, but I don't think many Actually people will build, build it. it. The well, trouble what, is like also like like something else. <laughs> yeah. that that's big. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah the thing is I think also the trouble you got with it it's a bit like the A400 if you do wall hang like I do my big stuff how do you hang that because the tail's obviously it's a T-tail so you can't mm. hang it on its tail what do you do drill a hole in the bottom and hang it on a nail like a <laughs> it's, it's, so, it's one of the medics that you're going to have to figure out yeah. when you've built it what you're going to do with it mm. and, and where you're going to put it isn't it it is, you know, I must it's, admit, for my um, big stuff, as a lot of you know, I have them all hung up here now, uh, and the Vulcans up here and all the rest of it, and it's a perfect place for them. Why I didn't do it years ago, 
uh, is, is beyond me. But uh, now for all more, it keeps them safe, it keeps them dust free, you know, and that you can still see them in glorious detail, you know. But uh, yeah, when you're getting even bigger though, with some of the bigger stuff that's coming down the line now, it takes up wall space. You know what it's like when you do a show table, isn't it? You get a couple of big ones. <laughs> It takes yeah, up all see. the room. So it's the same with these. If you're going to be having 30 second stuff hanging on the wall, giant stuff, you're not going to have a lot of wall space long, you know? So. No. But it's an interesting subject. And at least they followed through with actually doing it after, yeah. you know, yeah. a while ago that it got announced and then it all went really, really quiet. But it, did, it, yeah. it, it was it, announced so. well over a year ago that it was coming down the line and then well, just that, went really, really that, quiet. Probably. I thought, yeah, I thought it was, it went, it was I thought Telford it two years ago, yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's before lockdown. Mm. So. Yeah, it's a good couple of years ago since that was announced. It's a bit mm. going, going a bit Italy, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> look, look what you could have in the future, or maybe not even. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, we've got the usual bits and pieces down the bottom as well with the damage box section. There might be some more damage boxy bits coming this week, is there? Yes. Ah, well, that's the thing. Yes, there's going to be. So, keep an eye on this section. I don't I, I need to. I need to get the track in to find out when it's going to be delivered. But, mm -hmm. um, yes, I had a phone call to say there was some stuff that's in the cages that they have, and would we like it? So, obviously, we've hoovered it up. Yeah. No idea what it is, because it was mm -hmm. talking on Friday when I was a bit sort of Drugged. not with it, shall we say. <laughs> um, so I just said, well, just send it and what it is. And we'll, it's Tamiya, a bit of Tamiya, a bit of Italiary, mm -hmm. definite. Don't know else to be honest what's going to turn up so yeah it'd be a surprise to me as everybody else <laughs> it'd be like christmas be yeah nice loads, loads, of radio, loads of radio control cars and yeah yeah probably will be and some train trains. set <laughs> <laughs> yeah i got I, I ain't got a clue i just said yeah we'll just just chuck it in and uh, we'll, we'll sort it when it arrives yes so cool. yeah be, be good so yeah just keep an eye on that section for the back end of the week i'm sure when Hopefully, it'll come in and Andy will get it up there. So by Friday's show, if not before, mm -hmm. we'll uh, we'll know what it is and it'll, it'll be ready and available. Cool. Very good. So uh, pre-orders, getting back to those, the big one that went up this week was obviously for the Buccaneer, the FX Buccaneer. Yeah, it went up a few hours ago and it's got, uh, yeah, it's got seven, lots of seven people already. Interesting. It's got a bit in that interesting well. that, haven't we? So, you know, I've got a disclaimer out there. We've put it up. You went a bit what metal Mickey then. Hey. <laughs> you went a bit metal Mickey then. It was like, <laughs> oh, did I? Did, did, did... oh, that was quite good actually, probably, then, for what I was going to say. But no, it's oh. up there. If you do want one, get your name down. That's Very it. nice. I must admit, Nathan had a look at this uh, in person uh, when he was at Riyadh and he was talking to Pranjit uh, about it and the various things. He said it looked very nice. The riveting detail looks good. Um, and all the bits and pieces. So, yeah, looking forward to seeing that one. Again, it'd be nice if the other version comes along, but obviously they're following suit with the uh, the Navy one before the, R the REF one comes along. But yeah, hopefully we won't have we, to wait too long. We built the Navy one in 72nd, and did. it was fine. Yeah. I, wonder if it, I wonder if you're going to get the engines the wrong way around this time. No, you can't, apparently. You all did the, say. All the instructions are better. No, he's keyed it this time, so you can't actually put them in wrong. Because <laughs> he on, took, good on he your, took your good note on, yeah. from sticking them in the wrong way, and this one apparently they're keyed, so you can't put the left and rights in the wrong way. Indeed. So, look, we do have some feedback in this. Look, I don't think yeah, you screw you this know up. What? It's it's been long overdue on it, as we've said for a long time, and now yes. actually they've tackled it. And you know, everybody said we want a new one, and mm. you know, we've heard various companies before mm. say they're going to do it, never bothered, and it, it's. Very iconically British, isn't it? A it buccaneer, is, yes. let's be honest. It is. So, and it's a good yes. aircraft. Let's face it. You know, it as you good. say, it, it was one of those aircraft that's completely got overlooked by everyone, isn't it? And mm. uh, but again, as a, a strike aircraft, the bomber, you know, all the roles it played, it did very, very well. And apparently, it was excellent at low level work because it didn't shake your eyeballs out like a lot of planes do. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, no, it's fantastic. And you say, if you've ever been up to one in, personally, they're big. They're not a small plane. Oh, yeah. They look deceptively small as a picture. Yeah. But when you're up against them, it's a lump. And the gear is just like solid metal legs. It's like, boom. None of this yeah, fancy yeah, oh, yeah. struts and springs. It's like solid one-piece metal. Bang, that's it. It's like, my God, it's like tree trunk legs. But, uh, Who did yes. you use them apart from us? Did South Africa? South use? Africa, Adam. That was it, wasn't it? It was just us in South Africa. Unfortunately, yeah. that's why, to be honest, like we've often said, we don't think it's that bigger, you know, hitter because no one knows right. about it. Unless you're English or South African, you wouldn't even know it existed. 
but obviously for you know fleet stuff and all the rest of it played a massive role and then obviously with the RAF so uh, yeah so if you if you're into I mean, your I mean, phantoms it's and Wessex's this but you know like the the Gulf War One pink hmm. ones. Do you think if that hadn't have happened and the pink ones ended up come, that would have just gone into obscurity and not really been bothered about? Because it's everybody like, you know, the yeah. the golf ones are the ones that people want to do, aren't they? With mm. the nice little, you know, nose arts and yeah, the interesting obviously the faded weathered yeah. sort of sandy pinky colour and all that. So, mm. but I don't so know. When you, think, when you think that was superseded by the Phantom, mm. yet they still use them in the first Gulf War. Yeah. Yeah, by that time the Phantom had been long gone, long gone, yeah. hadn't it? Yeah. In, in our service. Mm. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? Yeah, no, it lasts a long time. I still think, you know, if you like, you know, obviously these days and they're on YouTube and all the rest of it, you can see you talk to pilots and various things about it and mm. interviews they've done with them. And they all actually say it was a really good aircraft. It's one of those things that down low, it was fantastic, you know, as I say, you know, it was one of those that used to go to Red Flag and Maple Flag and all the other ones and always do very well. But no one's really heard about it. So a very iconic British aircraft. If I remember rightly, wasn't it the last British solely designed that was in yeah. RAF service? Because yeah, obviously was. Tornado was a multi and the Jaguar was yeah. and you know, as that. So I think it was the last one in there. So yeah. But yes. Anyway, it'd be nice to see when the RAF one comes. And I, I assume the RAF one they'll do as the golf one as well. Like they follow suit with the um 72nd type ones are doing it. So you'd have to, aren't they? And I would have thought, mm. not not obviously we had any inside the box art, but I would have thought that would be the box art one as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, very, I'd very be surprised nice. if they've got a camo one on, like the, the mm. uh, 72nd version, but you never know, do you? You don't know, yeah. I'm not sure how many options it comes with for markings on that one. Um, Probably the same so. as the 48, uh, 72nd one, I would have thought, because obviously yeah. there's only so many squadrons used them, isn't there? Yeah, true, true. So, yes, very nice. The good old Buccaneer, Blackburn Buccaneer. Very yeah. nice indeed. You could do another one in Squirrel Grey. Yeah, <laughs> a pair of Squirrel Grey ones would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, but yeah, I think, you know, to be honest, we've been harping on about this kit and people have been saying about it for a long time. You know, let's face it, we had it with the Vulcan, they delivered. We've been saying it about the Buccaneer, they delivered. It will be interesting to see what the next ones are if they do sort of go down the route we're thinking. You know, maybe a Jaguar. Yeah, or Wessex. Or, or, well, the Wessex, Wessex we know they're working on, because I've been telling them for years they're working on it. They just won't admit it. So Just just now the Italian one's back out. Yeah, that's it. Just in time for, to try a go up against the Italian one. But, yeah, it, uh, it's it's one of those. Very iconic aircraft. And, again, it would be nice to get one in. We'll go have one and have a review of it and a perusal of the spruce. But uh, if you do want to get it, we've got it up 65 quid. So if you fancy one of those members, you can grab one of those. Put your name down for a pre-order. And we'll do our best to get him in ASAP. But apparently uh, as well, just just to let well, you know, obviously members who, who are going to put the name down, if you do want one, I get them down quick because as far as I've read, they're not that far off. Mm, yes, I think they are due. It's not like you're going to have to wait till Christmas and or when or next year or whenever. I think they are due pretty soon. So, which is yeah. nice because you don't want that long wait time. You know, when we put stuff up, we try to mm. do it. You know, within well, reason. Obviously, some of the stuff we get from the far east, we do have to order from. Yeah, you know, our supplier way, way before. Yeah, you know, he orders it for to come in, and then you know it's a bit of a lead time. But yeah, this one should be pretty, hmm. pretty quick, I think. Well, again, I think you know, obviously, I'm, from what I can tell, if they stick to their schedule that we saw in the books and all the rest of it, it was saying, wasn't it, that this was due out late August, and obviously we got yeah. the Spitfire in September. Yeah. So you yes. know, you've got two big hitters coming along there, one behind the other as well. So. Yep, absolutely. Just all in time for modelling season. When we get rid of this drought we're currently under here and this hot weather, which we hate now, I'm bored of it now. So when we get the rain back and the nights draw in again, we'll be back modelling normally. It'd be fantastic. Uh, right, so we got that one. The other one up as well was the uh, which other ones have we got in here? We've got the Zuckerman. Yeah, we had the Wild Weasel, yeah. Wild Weasel. Very nice indeed. Uh, as I say, there's um, lots of decals as well that I've noticed being released for these. So you could do various things. Looking very nice as well. But yeah, I like it in the hill scheme. I must admit, I prefer that than the camo with the grey. Mm -hmm. It's like it look, it's like an F-16. Well, I think it's what the F-16 was taken from. Uh, so Because it's got like the dark grey, gunship grey with the uh, light grey. So that's quite nice. 
So we've got that Just, one in. One of the members has asked me about the uh, Phantoms Forever um, boxings that you've got mm-hmm. named down for one, haven't you? Yeah. Uh, when they, uh, word anything when they're coming in. The thing is, what our, our supplier does is he obviously puts the orders together. Once he's got a container full, half container full, because mm-hmm. of the cost of them, then they get shipped over. So, so like, we're waiting for him. He's waiting for him. So hopefully they should be with us soonish. Yes. They're all in containers on boats. So yeah, it's, uh, yeah been... so much coming in the middle of August, and I can't remember yeah. what he told me it was, to be honest. I don't know mm. if it was Phantoms or 109s. I can't remember, but it's going to be at back end of August, beginning of September. Somebody yeah. did ask, but anyway, when they're here, they're here, and obviously you'll get invoiced and you'll get them, and everybody will be happy. Mm. I know we're not sort of like in the same problems we had last year with transport and stuff, but it's still very expensive so so like things have to be amalgamated condensed mm. together so that you know obviously to save us all costs definitely and that's what we cost us money cost, cost you money cost us money if it costs us money cost you money and yeah definitely oh, look, uh, a big chairman. giant chairman if anyone's interested in the giant chairman uh this is the one obviously in collaboration with uh, andy's hobbies but it's the tacking kit uh one sixteenth scale i'll tell so, you what that's good value for you know for what you're getting hmm yeah, because I must admit, afterwards we looked at, wasn't it, the Tamiya RC one and all the rest of it, which is an old kit now anyway. And uh, yeah, actually, that's a good price 143 quid. You know, mm. that's a good old price, yeah. that one. I can't remember the Tamiya one, was that 1970s or something? I think I looked it up. It was done in the 80s on that one, uh, which is the RC version of it, which you can have it. They did do it as a non RC version as yeah. well. Um, and then obviously you got two flavours of the RC. You got the standard one and the one with all the sounds and recalls sound, yeah. and lights and everything. So, uh, but yeah. But anyway, that's new tool. That's a brand new one. So that hopefully that'll be a lot well better and nicer. Um, but again, looking at some of the bits and pieces we saw on the other one with the detail figure and all the rest of it. So yes. Yeah, some nice touches with that. It mm. is. What was that thingy one that was it? It's Obico, the dragon one that's always on the floor. Is that one ninth scale? It's, it's massive, isn't it? It's the size of a coffee table. Know. You know, it's huge. I think it's one six or something, is it? Or one ninth? It's either one six or one ninth. It's, it's, it's massive, huge. isn't it? It's, yes. uh, you could you could literally ride it. You, you could. You could sit on it and go <laughs> off and drive yourself around. Be the ultimate you mobility could. scooter. <laughs> it's one six. Because <laughs> yeah. they do the dragon figures for them don't they an action yeah action, man, the action man is that are they one ninth actually no one six one six, six is it, it? yeah, yeah. yeah. Because yeah, they do a lot of other bits and bobs as well, don't they, in that scale? But uh, mm. yeah, that's by far the biggest of Sherman. Yeah, the Sherman's that's... actually not that big a tank. Mm. You they know. also don't use Action Man for the when they're doing the poses and stuff. They use mm. slightly better ones than Action Man with it. They, 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 they use Ken. Yeah, they get Ken though. He's got he's more ripped. He's got better <laughs> hair. <laughs> He's got better yeah. hair, quite He's, frankly. They get, they get Ken to kiss the guns. Yes. <laughs> so anyway, if you do fancy one of those, those ones are up. Any of the others you want to talk about? Nope. Uh, people Just coming about in, that. to be honest. I, I so, think, you know, as we've said, I think that's obviously that's on its way in. This is um, the one that's coming in. Hot on its tail is going to be the B25 <laughs> and the other one we had up, but I can't remember what it is, but the B25 uh, is going to be not far beyond beyond that. So, so the, the Guns Bunny, wasn't it? Guns Bunny. Guns is Bunny one, one, yeah, which is this one here, which is due in any second as well. Yeah. Uh, which is that one. But they're not Bugs Bunny, clearly, because they'll get copyrighted. Yeah, but can't get Guns copyrighted Bunny. for Bugs Bunny, can you? But they no. can use the decals. You can use the decal and write it on the side, but you can't put it in your description. Yeah, they can use all the artwork. Yeah. <laughs> well, well yeah that one that one's on like say should be following pretty soon after these ones come in so again mm-hmm. as a guy kit good kit that lovely lovely Look, kit very very nice kit that one yes there's another one i can't for the life of me think what the other one was uh, 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 oh did the guns one in the wildcats at the same time didn't we? uh yeah i think no. it's just those two uh oh the tempest is that it that's it. no, that's that's later on. That's after. Well, so because we we're not even got any box art for that one yet. No. Um, no. Pass. Pass. pass, pass I can't remember. I'm sure it'll come mm. up somewhere. Yeah, I put the guns bunny and the um, Hellcat up at the same time. Yes. 
Who's those yeah, two? Good with that then. So good. Well, yeah, I, I don't know. You, they both spent up on the seventeenth. Mm. Yeah, you looked at the invoice, didn't you? So. Yeah. And well, uh, that's the other one. If you want to go slightly bigger for the MiG 29s and all the rest of it, obviously it's the 48 scale uh, Great War Hobbies one, which is due in in the future. Um, but as you say, that's the nice kit. That's the very, very nice kit. In fact, I will say I'm quite tempted myself. Being in well, mind, well, I am that old that the last MiG 29 built was the Academy one. It was, and it was an Eddard one. Yeah, it was an Eddard Rebox in the Academy one, and it's it showing its age, shall we say, seeing as it's prehistoric, that kit. Yeah, but I mean, how long ago did you build that? Because it's a free, it's a free to view, in, in, in It's a free to view. Yeah, I think I built it about fifteen years ago. Or so, eight is it? Or three sixty? Yeah, or whatever probably, the uh... yeah. It's in the smaller format. Small format, yeah. <laughs> Stamp so, format. Yes, it's in hands format. I think that one. Uh, but yeah, it, it's certainly showing its age a little bit now. In fact, I've retired it from my cabinet. I'm looking to where it used to be. It's even gone into my retirement stash now, which is upstairs oh, in a box. It's passed, so, it's passed on to retirement. Yes, it's, it's a wonder old. it's in one bit and that dissolved. That's it. But, uh, it's a bit, I tell you what, it'll be an interesting challenge, wouldn't it, if you're going to do one? At least you get a mass set with them. Hmm? Yeah. 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 Uh, I don't know if you do with that. Do you actually get a mass set with that one? No, you do with the seven second one, don't you? Sure, don't you do one of them. them. Don't you get a mass set and a... Yeah. yeah, one of them. I can't remember yeah. which one it was. Mm. I can't remember either. But um, yeah, I don't know, Phil. Perhaps you should do it in thirty second. Oh God, no. no, no! This year is the year of big. Next year we're going to go normal. <laughs> normal, <laughs> or as normal as you can do here, definitely. So, uh, but yeah, no, that I must admit, it does. There's a slight spark there. that thinks that would be quite a nice one to do uh, in the digi camo, and you can weather it as well in the bits and pieces. So, yeah, very nice indeed. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so, yes, uh, that's about it, isn't it? I think we're pretty much all there. Yeah, short, short and sweet today. Got yes. no questions, and you know, stuff no, coming in it. and going out, and usual just ticking over. So, mm -hmm. uh, we've got the last bits on the actual twenty five percent sale. Uh, as well so obviously all of these are brand new kits 25 percent off as we speak about most times and again once these are all gone they are gone so if you see anything grab it before it goes mm. uh, so yes we got all of those bits and pieces down in there so very nice so if you fancy anything and as I say we do add to it we've added a couple of bits recently as well so keep an eye out on this one as well uh yeah, and yeah. so yes good stuff and then obviously friday because obviously some of you are traveling some of you aren't is it will you be updating the site friday yeah, I'll, I'll update it on Friday morning because I'm not setting off till after lunchtime. So, yeah, that'll all be sorted. Done and right. so, He's updating it Friday morning. I must be on a full day Friday. <laughs> well, literally, yeah, I can't. Yeah, yeah, I will be. But I won't be in on Monday. I'll be off on Monday and I will be off on Tuesday. Yes. Um, next week. So, and then I'll be back in Wednesday. So, if you do want anything before, you know, get it in before Friday anyway. Mm -hmm. before Friday lunchtime, and then that will go out, and then um, obviously it will be rolling over till probably next Wednesday mm -hmm. when I'm back in. Definitely. Yes. Cool. Very good. Right. Okay, then, guys, we will leave it right there. So get all your bits and pieces. As always, don't forget we've got all your paints covered and all your glues, your thinners, and all the bits and pieces like that as well over on the PM store. So if you want to pop over there, I'll pop the link down below as always, and you can have a good look around the site. How did that move on its own? Did you even touch it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's, yeah, it's it. It was somebody in here. Uh, but yes, so there we go. You can see all of those ones. And we'll be back again with you, uh, obviously, next week. Uh, there is going to be a show on Thursday. I say we're recording this on Tuesday and it's completely thrown me. So, but uh, we'll be back with you on Thursday night as well for a live show. So if you want to come along and join us for that one, it'd be lovely to have you along. I'll do the Friday catch up show uh, as well. I might have a special guest, Keith, because he'll be here by then. So, oh, you can have, yes, you can have him on. <laughs> so if I can peel Keith probably off of the drink, I'll uh, get him in here as well. And uh, we can do the Friday show just a little bit of a catch up uh, before this lot descend for the barbecue on Saturday. So yes, good job. Bring your sunblock. Yes, bring your sunblock. You're going to need It's gorgeous out there again now. It's blue skies. It's lovely. Can't complain cool. at all. Right. Okay, then, guys, we will leave it right there. Thank you very much for joining us. We will see you all again very soon. Happy modeling. Take care. Bye. Bye. Bye.